brighten up those already bright mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the Cabin. Brighten up those bright mornings with Mornings at the Cabin and put on a friggin' coat because it's plus two on June 10th. Uh, we're going to have to reach out to Matt Foytella. I know it says plus four. It's not. I know what plus four feels like. It is plus two. I can see my breath this morning. Would I am like, unimpressed. Would you like to be reassured? About highs of 20 to 22 for the rest of the week. Ugh, uh, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's too hot. And I mean, it, it, it would be nice if that were, if we kind of led up into that fives, tens, fifteens, <laughs> and then twenties. No, no, no. Two, twenty. Yeah. Ugh. High of 13 today, high of 18 tomorrow and Wednesday, then high of 20 on Thursday through the weekend. I'll believe it when I see it. That's what that plus 13 weather in March was preparing you for. It's just uh, taken this long to kind of follow up on that. Uh, it's, it's, it's chilly outside today, this morning. That's I'm surprised okay. there wasn't frost on my window. Oh, come on. Come on. I, I'm serious. All right, fair point. Yeah, fair point. Fair point. I turned my heat off yesterday. I came home at the end of the night because it was a uh, uh, year-end show, and we were mm. helping the float out. Got home around 11. It was chilly in my house. Chilly. Well, that means, Eddie. What? I blame it, Eddie. Kind of chilly. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, was, it was like it was, it was stewed for like five hours. It was pretty good. A lot of beans. Mm. Too many beans. You ever put too many beans in a chili? No. It's easily done. It is easily done. Sometimes you're just like, well, I don't have enough beef, so I'll you know, put the more protein in with the beans. And then you just got a bean chili. <laughs> That's, I really didn't go anywhere. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. Oh, baby, it is Raptors Day. That's right, game five tonight at the NBA Finals. Um, a chance to make history in in the six, in the T-dot. You gave it no baby. I, I right did say oh bad. Oh, I know. baby. Yeah, what's going on with that? I like it. I don't think Pumped. I had enough sleep last night is what it is. <laughs> Um, How many Raptors days do you think we're going to have here? This is one. This this is maximum it. of three. This is, this is it. One of a possible. Because if they don't win tonight, if they don't win tonight, then they go back. To, then they go back to Golden State, oh. and then they have to come back to to, to Toronto. So I mean, yes. I you don't want this one going seven because games because uh, Golden State has so much more experience in the playoffs. Um, but but yeah. haven't they just got the Golden State and one? Yeah, one two twice. They swept. So therefore, they swept out of Golden State. So no, I mean, about? I'm supremely confident. But I'm also, you know, I mean, also Golden State. You got, you got to beat the champs. You do. They are the champs. To They've be the champ. Three, three championships in the last four years. They've been to five straight finals. I mean, yeah, yeah. This is the day, though. Yeah. And I mean, we did have some thoughts. You, Dave, and I, Dave Hurley, Summer Dave, were talking over the weekend about like, hey, let's do something. Let's go live yeah. to somebody's party, and it was a great idea. Yeah. And then last night we we were all kind of. I didn't send a message, but you guys sent messages between each other, and I wholeheartedly agreed where it's just like yeah i don't really want to do that <laughs> like i just kind of want to watch the game it's like yeah let's just watch the game well because originally we were thinking the game would start at you know like six o'clock our time so like eight o'clock eastern or yeah. something like that yeah the game doesn't even start till seven nine so o'clock nine o'clock Toronto, eastern which is nuts yeah i mean i we were talking a bit about it before obviously the reason that they're trying to cater to the west coast and make it a reasonable game time yeah. for both but games don't start at nine o'clock. No, that's a stupid start time. Well, and what's problem? What's the problem with starting a game at five o'clock on the West Coast? Right, mm-hmm. like they'll figure it out. Huh. <laughs> it's figure not like it they out. They need to West be Coast? at an arena to watch it. They can watch it, you know, next door at a bar, wherever. Yeah, that's true. It's that's stupid. True. Yeah, but anyway. gotta accommodate the champs. So it just ruined our potential extended Raptors sports coverage on Cabin Sports Radio. I think tonight. that's fine. But I hey. think I think we just we find a place to watch the game and yeah. we settle in. We for enjoy the ourselves. That's right. How about that? A couple places putting it on tonight. Top night, Monkey Tree, other places. Probably, probably. everywhere. I don't, yeah, probably <laughs> those, everywhere. Those were a couple of places. <laughs> those yeah. were a couple of places. <laughs> but those are the places that put out stuff on Facebook over yes. the weekend. Yeah. Uh, like Top Night putting out like two minutes after Game 4 ended, and their post said, is this real life? Because I think Terry Hart writes a big uh, big Raptors fan. Um, but I mean, I was, I was at Game 4, I was over at AJ's place. And right. all his buddies are pretty. There are a lot of hardcore basketball fans in there. Mm. They've been watching, like guys like Chad Hinchy, yeah. uh, been watching the Raptors since they were, you know, four months old. Because um, that's old there. Um, and uh, they were like, obviously pretty pumped. And yeah. at the same time, like I still can't believe I'm watching it, and I can't believe this is happening. It mm. seems almost surreal that they're playing. It's they've got they found that other gear, right? Yeah. So they went to seven. 
with with Philadelphia in the East semis in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Bucks took the first the first game, yeah, or whatever, or the first two games. Did they first take the first. I two think games? the first two games. Yeah, they yeah, took the I first two games, games and they were like, and everyone was like, "Oh man, yeah, yeah that's oh, right," because the Raptors won four in a row. Yeah, and ever since they lost that second game, they found that next gear. Yeah, and even against these these huge champions, this legendary team of Golden State are playing with such confidence that you're just like, this is this is fate complete. This is this feels like. Yeah, this feels like the, the this is their time. Yep, yeah, absolutely. This is. I mean, it's a it's a great opportunity. Like we've said, you know, Golden State is not a hundred percent healthy, so this is a, a really good opportunity for the Raptors, and it doesn't take anything away. Doesn't take anything away. Ollie, you're this, really enjoying yourself over there. <laughs> this is the sound of a bandwagon hurtling off a cliff. Oh, absolutely, it's off absolute, a cliff. It's I've always been a Raptors fan. I don't watch no, basketball you mean off much. A cliff. You, you, you misunderstand me. I Just do misunderstand you. Still often. S- it's still so possible to lose. Oh, oh absolutely. it absolutely and is. Listening to the last time, it's been like, well, this is it. This is their time. This no, is the I greatest. said it this feels like. I said oh, it feels like. Yeah. I said like watching them, and, and like even when I got to AJ's, they were down by seven. Much like when we saw the game last Sunday, no, last yeah. Wednesday, mm-hmm. and they were down by seven or eight when we arrived at the Woodyard, and then they just took control of the game. Yeah, and it wasn't in question after that. Yeah, and that's how it feels like they're playing right now. And yeah, Golden State is super injured. I don't care. That doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. They played like seven hundred games in the last five years. Yeah, they're going to be injured. Yeah. Don't let that. Don't that, don't let it take away from the fact that the Raptors are playing incredibly well. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to it. And and I mean, you're right. They could very well lose again. They are playing against a perennial championship team. So yes. you know, if if it doesn't go the Raptors' way tonight, so let's not so let's not games. pull our hair out you're or anything. Three-one. There's yeah. one team that has given up a three-one lead in the NBA playoffs all time. And it was so Golden State in 2016. They gave it up to Cleveland. <laughs> right. And uh, LeBron brought a championship to the land. So the Raptors will try not to make that, Try too. not to make that, too. Yeah. And like, simple as that. All just, simple as that. Why do you got to be so negative? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm reassured now. <laughs> oh, good. I definitely thought you were getting, getting out. This is the sound of a bandwagon. I was like, oh, yeah. These are two bandwagon jumpers. I, 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 I mean, like, I mean, I, okay. I mean yeah, nobody, yeah, sure. nobody watches basketball in this country. The whole country's a bandwagon. Uh, well, There's like but ten I mean, that's, people. That's the thing, though. You know what? Like I, someone who writes for the Raptors in Toronto was saying, like, you know what? The more, the merrier. You yeah. want to jump on this Why bandwagon? Not, yeah. Do it right now. Absolutely. Same thing happened to the Blue Jays in '92 and '93. People who never watched baseball before in their life were swept up in it, and you don't see that as often. An entire country being taken over by it. soccer is a different thing because soccer is obviously just very very nationalistic which is a bad word for <laughs> <laughs> you really just made it sound racist soccer so. is white supremacy <laughs> um <laughs> but uh yeah no everybody swept up in this and very very uh, very much so it's very yeah. exciting yeah very absolutely exciting. and it's like, just something like that we've talked about before that doesn't happen in hockey that's because absolutely. you've got you know six canadian you 16, teams 16, you got yeah. one that we're and, all no, and for, like so. even if toronto made a run at the stanley cup like half a country would be like at <laughs> f toronto yeah, definitely yeah so like this is a chance for the entire t- the entire country to cheer for the city that they hate oh raptors tonight i predict nothing because i'm not doing that mornings at the cabin the podcast where we cut out all the great music and you're left with the rest. Cabin Sports Radio is tonight at 6. And it is. Usually we would save some of this sports talk for that. We already talked about the Raptors, but I did want yeah. to bring up uh, the Cabin Slow Pitch team. So we had, what was Must that game? You. Game number three last night? Was that game number three? That was, a, yeah, our We've third had five of, of a possible like, six games. Out of a I possible think. like six games because yeah. of the weather. But um, I, I wasn't able to make it last night. I was at the Bella, Bella Dance um, Academy final uh, show of the year, which right. was fantastic. Um, so you want to recap? Do you know what happened? Last we'll talk night? a little bit more about that later. Um, well, I all I saw was the score because on, on the on the Facebook page we talked about the score, how it went, blah blah blah. We're two and zero. Oh. We're two and zero. Oh. We were, yeah. Come yeah, in. we yeah. well, you just gave away. Uh, we were two and zero. Oh. And so last night, uh, I I wasn't able to make the game. Check the page afterwards, and Samantha Stewart was like, "How did it go? How did it go?" Well, let me just say, uh-huh. the score is. Not reflective of your efforts? Totally reflective. <laughs> uh, the Cabin Radio Sports or sports Team. The ca- <laughs> you know what? That we is, should just call it that. That is the more accurate. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cabin Radio Sports Team. <laughs> We're also in volleyball, basketball, and other things. No, just one sports thing oh, at a time. One sports. No, we can't take on two sports. One sports. Uh, the Cabin Radio Slow Pitch Team was uh, demolished Good last night. Taken apart. What happened? I don't know. 
26 to 5, the final score from Fritz Field. Good Lord. Ooh. How did you even? By the nice guys. The nice guys. I think. Because uh, they're, no, they're geologists, aren't they? Like I me, think it was, no, I, I think they're a cast uh, heli flight. I think I, there's a bunch of pilots. There's a bunch team. of pilots? Yeah. Pilots. And they were just <laughs> letting balls soar into the outfield. Oh, I bet. I bet. Well, oh, that's the thing. Man. A bunch of pilots getting together. They're all probably in pretty good shape. And they they're, were in they're playing shape. C yeah. division. They should probably be playing B or A division. Uh, I think they were right where they they should be. They seemed, you know, they you know. Well, we, they made you guys look like a D squad. Well, it just wasn't our best showing Oy. last night. That's all. There was, uh, you know, good effort out there. Great effort. <laughs> Kept but, busty. Uh, not enough. <laughs> not, not enough. No, not enough. No. Not enough. And you know what? I, I think part of it is that is that, like you said, you know, we started out the season two and zero. We mm-hmm. had a big first game victory. That's right. We had a very tight, like, really good game in our second game. Big yeah. win in the end. And I think, uh, I think the cabin pe- team was feeling a bit, uh, a bit fat and sassy. <laughs> Needed to be brought back down to earth a little bit. Heads fat were high in the sky. Fat and sassy. Fat. And sassy. I, wow, I can't have one without the other, I don't think. No, well, not really. No, I don't think they, so. They, they go hand I, in hand. People like, people like fat and sassy. Yeah. They do. But losing 26 to 5 humbles you really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Makes you skinny and ornery. <laughs> <laughs> without sass. No. Yeah, um, sans sass. I made my uh, my pitching debut. Oh my goodness! Night. That is how bad the game was going. <laughs> uh, it's like in in the majors where like if someone's down like eighteen to five, they're like bring in the outfielder so we don't rip into our that's bullpen. Right. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There were uh, there were perhaps some some feelings being spared there, but uh, I, you know I stayed in, gutted it out. Yeah, gave up. My ERA is not <laughs> not what I hoped it would be right now. But. Yeah. You know that that's that's okay. We got a long season to recover from. Just this. south of thirteen runs per nine innings. <laughs> but you know, there's always positives. Yeah, always positives. What what were they? Uh, big win, a uh, big win, big one it, being a highlight of uh, the J Bear making his slow pitch debut uh, they last do. night. Career debut went two for four. What? Stretched a single into a double what? with a lot of hustle out there. Nice, yeah. good for J Bear. I yeah. saw him last night actually. Did you? Yeah, we went out to uh, we went out to the trap line after the show. Oh, and he was sitting there. He was with the uh, he was with a young lady. Oh, I won't divulge any more information than that. Celebrating a big victory. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, wait, we, not we lost, big really. personal victory. That's not a personal that victory. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, good. That's awesome. I was wondering when J Bear was going to come play out. Yeah, he the uh, it, it was great. I think uh, he, you, you're always a bit nervous, right? When even if it's even though it's just rec sports, yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Mm-hmm. You know, there's not supposed to be any anxiety caused because of it. We've had a few players make their rec sports debut That's right. this season, mm-hmm. and and there's been definitely some nervousness. But uh, but Jay Bear, same as uh, same as uh, several others who have made their debuts, like feeling really good after it. So nice. I, I think he's really looking forward to game two. Sweet, and we are looking forward. Seeing him crush some more balls. Yeah, sock a few dingers. Yeah, cabin slow pitch team now two and one. Coming three games cr- into the year, <laughs> crashing back down to earth. Crashing back down to earth. Really letting their youth and inexperience show <laughs> against the nice guys. Bunch of pilots. See How was school? Worst day of my life. What do you think? Well, I want you to go see, and if Tina wants some of this. <sighs> Kip hasn't done flipping anything today. Look, tonight me and Kip, listen. What? Tonight, me and your Aunt Carol are going to visit some friends, and we're not going to be back till tomorrow. We're getting a little low on steak, so I've got Lyle coming over to take care of it. Well, what's there to eat? Oh, knock it off, Napoleon. Make yourself a damn quesadilla. Fine. I'll be back tomorrow. Stay home and eat all the freaking chips. Napoleon, don't be jealous that I've been online chatting with babes all day. Besides, you know I'm training to become a cage fighter. Since when, Kip? You have the worst reflexes of all time. Try and hit me, Napoleon. What? Come on down here and see what happens. Scenes from the cabin. 
Know the movie? Submit your guest to mailbox at cabinradio.ca or send us a message on Facebook for your chance to win gift certificates to some awesome Yellowknife restaurants, including Zehabesha, Main Street Pizza, the Woodyard Eatery, Copper House Restaurant, and Javaroma. Listen to Cabin Radio every weekday to win or download the Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Joined by a general manager who just is just looking for something to do this morning. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> AJ, what's what's up, man? How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. It was busy. I was yeah. uh yeah, was it was it busy? Yeah, I, up, I don't uh, want you to go into it. Yeah, okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> good. It wasn't and I didn't have anything to say. Oh good. <laughs> good. Right on. Um I, I was mentioning we were talking about the Raptors earlier and I uh, was over at your place on what was that Friday night? Friday night. Friday night, yeah. Yeah, and uh, had a great time. There's oh. a lot of there's a lot of serious basketball fans in your circle of friends. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very like long term Raptors. Yeah, fans, yeah, yeah. So very, very invested. Yeah. And it was uh, it was pretty cool to watch it with uh, a bunch of guys like that. Like I I usually just kind of watch it with whoever. It's intense. Yeah, it yeah. was great though. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait. yeah, yeah. So were you not the loudest one in there? No, no. Wow, no. Well, oh, I wouldn't okay. even say top four. That's wow, right. I got I got my licks in though. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I made I made I made a comparison to Tayshawn Prince, that Williamson guy. And that they was were a like, big they hit. were loving that. I that was, was like, yeah, hit. that's a that's a good get. I right don't there. understand that. That's right. Neither do I. You don't understand that. Okay. But those those basketball fans did. They're like, oh my god. He does look like Tayshawn Prince. I'm like, yeah, right. Well, I'm happy for you. Good job. Good job. Yeah, I, I, I can. I'm like a chameleon. I can put myself in any situation and find myself just having something in common with most people. It's a talent. Uh, that's why you're the man of the people. That's right. I am the man of the people. I am what? Um, this is this is kind of interesting. I, and this is what I love about uh, our show and being able to just kind of pull this stuff off on mm. uh, like for you know friends on Facebook and stuff like that that yeah. put up just kind of random stuff. And I want to talk about it. So friend of the cabin, Brie O'Keefe, put this up on the 6th of June. So four days ago, she said, what is one small but important concession you've made in your life habits because of your partner? And she mm. put up, like, in, like i.e., now, she now sleeps with a flat sheet between her and the duvet. So she's curious as to what other, uh, uh, of her friends have made these concessions. It garnered 100 comments, which is a lot. I mean, that's a ton for, like, just someone kind of posting something personal on their Facebook page. Right. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And it's a great question. What small important concession have you made mm. in a partnership that uh, that you know just change the way you live your life, and the flat sheet one is a uh, incredibly common in this thread. Most people saying either now they do sleep with that flat sheet between the duvet and them, mm. or they now do not. I now do not sleep with a flat sheet because it just gets all tangled up in your feet and it's useless. What kind of a monster made her change uh, to flat sheet? <laughs> I don't know. Jeez. Ooh, yeah, good. Sorry, Bree. I mean, you wow. Know, if you ever need to talk, I don't know if that's a small concession. Is that not a small concession? That seems. I think she's understating. Are you anti flat sheet as well? I am anti flat sheet. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I'm. I know. I uh, Phoenix uh, never. It doesn't need to be there. It doesn't need to be there. No. Yeah. To me, it's anti sleep. That's right. <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah, it's it is. It's another layer. It's well, that's why you used to have it, right? Because you'd have, like, you take off the blanket if it got too hot and yeah. you'd have the sheet and it was nice and cool. Yeah. Now nah, I'm just naked. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Who needs a sheet at all? That's right. Yeah. You don't need anything. Yeah. yeah. Just sleep naked. Um, but uh, some of the other uh, some of the other uh, comments were pretty good. Uh, like Christina was saying that there is a television in her bedroom, living room, and spare oh, room yeah, when she yeah. wanted no television. That's a big one. That That's is a, that big is a big one, one yeah. because like a lot of people will say, don't put a TV in your bedroom, right? Because it kills that fire. Yeah, it can't. Yeah, um, we don't have a TV in our bedroom. Yeah, fire's dead anyway. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've never put a TV in our bedroom. I've had a TV in my bedroom, too, and it's it is it's a it's a it's a suck. Yeah. It's a bit of a time suck. It's an energy suck. Yeah. And you're looking at a screen right before you go to bed, which yeah, is never good. Which anyway. is not great. And I mean, you know, I'll look at my phone, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> we it's compromise. Different. It's, different. Yeah. it's different. The, the different. little TV in your pocket. That's right. <laughs> the screen <laughs> just gets a bit TV smaller. <laughs> so, yeah, the breadth of human existence right here in my pocket. No TVs though. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So yeah, there that was that's a big one. Yeah. The flat sheet seems to be a huge one. Uh, another one is like, of course, like food stuff. Like mm -hmm. some people saying, like I don't cook mushrooms now because my partner just hates them or, or okay. allergies or allergies. You know, I've got a few friends are like, I haven't eaten pita butter in like ten years because right. you know my kid <laughs> is allergic or you know my my partner's allergic. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, another one was uh, Keith uh, put up. I'm not saying other people's uh, people's last names, just in case. Uh, Keith said, "I no longer eat soup out of the same pot I cooked it in." That's a big change. Wow, that's a big change. Keith, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, uh, alone, you're alone what, there, Keith. What are you getting back out of that, Keith? <laughs> I just shove a straw in the pot and off we go. 
Uh, <laughs> another another one was I get up earlier. I have a TV. Blah, there's like the the, the pukey emoji. I have a TV. I have oh, a TV. Okay. She didn't have a yeah. TV before. Yeah. I've eliminated raw vegetables from my cooking, which is interesting. Uh, and she now watches sports. <laughs> Who has a gripe oh. against raw vegetables? This person only frozen. <laughs> only. Well, no, like only like well, I guess I don't know what she means. Like I've eliminated raw or raw to, sorry raw tomatoes. Oh, not okay, not not all vegetables. So, so she, like she, she cooks, cooks them tomatoes. separately and then throws them in. Or, oh, maybe someone know. just doesn't like. Maybe yeah, she's just eating yeah. them like an I, apple. Before. I'm actually very surprised by how many people don't like tomatoes. I, I think it's a I think it's a like um. There was something going around with with tomatoes a few years ago, and mm. in, in, in all like restaurants were kind of like a few years ago things going on with tomatoes. Of. Okay, we're, we're caught up now. <laughs> it, but I don't remember. I don't want to say what it was because I, I'm sure it's going to be inaccurate. But yeah. you know, like the same way with uh, romaine lettuce, there was that big. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, whatever was going salmonella on. Salmonella, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It, yeah, it, I think it was E. coli. E. coli, salmonella, um, and there was something like that a few years ago yeah, going yeah. on with tomatoes, and I think that. I mean, I could be wrong. This person may have hated tomatoes since they were a kid, Some but I think there's something that like that going yeah, yeah. on. And yeah. I think it's, I, I almost think it's almost like the, the cilantro thing where some people are just like genetically predisposed to not like it. Yeah, I, I do feel, not. I feel that, there you go. I feel like that soap, way with right? the... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Cilantro, I don't mind. Oh. I don't like tomatoes. Oh, I feel tomatoes. that way with, yeah. the, gotcha. with milk chocolate. Some people like really what? decry milk chocolate. They're like, milk chocolate tastes like... It tastes gross, and dark chocolate's the only way to go. Like semi-sweet chocolate, right? Interesting. Like baker's chocolate and darker. But milk chocolate is no good. They what? turn a snooty nose up to to Smarties and, and Kit Kats and that's, all that stuff because it's got milk chocolate. They're, they're trying they're too hard. More for the rest of us. That's right, <laughs> suckers. That's yeah, a bunch of suckers. Give me all the chocolates. Um, <laughs> Dave Hurley, Summer Dave, uh, with the best one. My partner has chronic and excessive flatulence, but I don't love her any less. <laughs> <laughs> and, he t- <laughs> and he tagged Denise right in it. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well done. So we don't really need to go into the concessions that Denise made. <laughs> Because I feel like those people themselves right there. I feel like probably right a lot. Yeah. <laughs> probably a lot. Uh, um, and then sparkling water over flat water is another one. Uh, the person, like, I'm usually a cat person. Now I have 10 dogs. But, yeah, flat sheets. That was a huge one. Okay. So I wanted to ask you guys. Is that yours? Know, is that what you're going for? The flat sheets? The flat no, sheet. No, no, I, mean, we'll that, I mean, that is one that I've... Uh, it's not really a concession. It just, like... You weren't happen. married to it. I wasn't married to it. Okay. I'm not going to get married to anything. <laughs> um... We've already was that this. was that a concession <laughs> one? Okay. <laughs> we're not gonna get married. Um, okay, so what's a concession or a, a sacrifice that you've made in your partnership? So I, I I was I was thinking about this. Were you? I was giving it some thought. Oh yeah, because I told you to think about it. Yeah. So I. So oh I great. Did. Oh cool. I'm Thank you for following that assignment on and yeah. running with. Confirm. You thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and I I feel like it's it's not it's not really a small thing to to a lot of people because it's kind of it's almost more of a concept than yeah. anything, but it should be a small thing. Uh, in in ideally, and it's just laziness, because I am a very lazy person on my own. But Nicole is very much a let's do everything right? all the time, yeah. make the best of every moment. Oh, which she sounds horrible. horrible. Exhausts. Well, me. the apocalypse is coming, so I mean, like, live every moment. And, and fair enough. And, and I fair and enough. that's what that's uh, fair enough. It's it's on the way. That's right. Right. We're only here. For, we're here for a, we're here for a good time. Not, Not a, a long, long time. time. <laughs> Let's have a good time. <laughs> um, and but I, I, yeah, like I am very much a kind of person that will would would very happily default to just spending an afternoon <laughs> on the couch. It's fantastic in front of the TV. I love it. Yeah, but she has very much made me not. She has not allowed me to do that, and it is the best thing for me because I mean, yeah, you're not getting anything out of that. You know, yeah, you're getting maybe a oh, little I bit out know. of enjoyment. I, for I get, sure, I get a lot of the spending an afternoon by myself on the couch. We, we it will be perfectly happy. That, but that's uh, the kind of the problem and the blessing okay. is that we'll be perfectly happy doing that. Yeah. people like you and I. Mm-hmm. But she doesn't. She didn't buy that. Fair enough. No, we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out kayaking or go yeah. for a hike or good, something. Yeah, or, good for you. And having dogs, I mean, has made that a helps, world yeah, that of difference yeah, too. Yeah. Responsibility. Yeah. Oh. You know, so, yeah, I guess I have up, to take you. We, so, I have we, to go outside okay. today. So you're cons- most of the concessions here are like, I don't eat mushrooms anymore. I don't like tomatoes. Yeah. I don't use a flat sheet, sparkling water. Scott's is like, I'm not a piece um, of crap. I was anymore. a piece of I was a piece <laughs> of garbage. Yeah. She made that me didn't do piece. anything. And my partner, the concession I made for my partner is that I would no longer be a yeah. lazy piece of garbage. That's right. I allowed yeah. her that's to make the, me a better human being. Yeah. Right. That is was that my a, compromise. <laughs> That's a small thing. And she right? hasn't done anything for me. <laughs> but I made the concession. Your turn. Your turn, Nicole. <laughs> your turn. You're up. No, we don't have time to get into that's that. That's fair. 
Uh, <laughs> That's fair. Uh, AJ, same question. Same question. Um, I've never really had an overseas. I mean, you're a, sing, you're a single man right partner, now, so yeah. you don't really need to make concessions for anybody. No, that's true. And I don't. honestly can't think of too many. I mean, with, with roommates, you need to make certain compromises. Well, I mean, it's your house. You don't really need to make any uh, Yeah, but in the past, I've had a lot of roommates. I think I've had like 25 roommates in my life. Wow. Not my, my so parents you can not included. be lived with. I, like that. I can be lived with, but then it also draws the question: Why so many? Yeah, it's like Ooh, maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm the problem, yeah. <laughs> and it's because I make no compromises. That's whatsoever. right. <laughs> That's my answer. Yeah, yeah. That guy's a hard ass. I'm moving yeah. out of here. I am not changing anything. That's I fair do. enough. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I mean, I was th- I was thinking about it obviously as well because we wanted to talk about it. Uh, good, the flat sheet good. is one. Yeah, uh, I have given up. Um, uh, I have given up uh, thinking that uh, both people should clean the house because um, mm. I do it. <laughs> and uh, but she does a lot of the cooking, so I I will do most of the cleaning because I don't like I don't really like cooking. I don't really have an aptitude for it, so I like eating. So, so yeah. you've given up. I haven't given Taking up. Taking on the cooking. No, I still do it every once in a while. I've got my like 15 to 20 dishes that I can cook. Right. But that's a good compromise, though. That's, that's a push That's and a pull. great compromise. You know, it's like, mm. I'll clean, but you cook. Yeah, you cook. And, you know, there's a little bit of both ends Absolutely. instead of like, no, just get rid of mushrooms altogether. Yeah. You know, I'd be like, well, can we introduce maybe tomatoes? <laughs> you know, <laughs> As a, little, a substitute a for mushrooms. Push and, push and pull. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. Um, and other others are, you know, I think others are just kind of kind of standard like relationship stuff you know like you you make room for another person's whatever yeah right that's what you kind of have to do right um she she doesn't like to sleep with a flat sheet so there, there we go and now i i've got all these flat sheets you're really closets. hung up on this flat well it's the most popular thing. one on this thing i think uh and i'm trying to think of another one and i that's the thing i was thinking about it and i, I it's all kind of just normal relationship stuff i think that people just don't want to get too into it. The flat sheet is yeah. a cover. Oh, it's a, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a <laughs> for default. what's yeah, really that's going right. on. That's right. Yeah. Which is not like, for me. You let's, were very honest. Thank let's you for dig being, a little deeper, folks. Yeah, that's right. A little challenge for you. Scott, thank you for being so brave this morning. Well, no problem. Um, Each and, and every letting day. Us, <laughs> letting us know that you've completely changed who you are <laughs> for yeah. your partner. And use the In flat a good sheet. way. Though. That's all so you have to do to be happy. That's right. Just completely change who you are. Uh, thank you, Bree, for uh, posting that, and thank you to everybody who shared that. I've, obviously, it was inadvertent that it would be on here, but uh, there you go. And one at the very bottom came in seven hours ago, the last comment right now. I happily live alone, but there was a time that I compromised by having music playing in the kitchen in the morning, before caffeine even. Mornings are for silence and quiet reflection. Never again. <laughs> Fair enough. And mornings at the cabin. That person is... Obviously not listening to this show. <laughs> so. <laughs> so good morning to them. That's right. And if you've got any concessions that you made, maybe that you're a little ranty about, 867-675-0100, you could let us know what concessions you've made. And maybe if it's made you a better person or a horrible piece of garbage. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. I just got back from ripping into intern Sarah. Well, fair enough. Bailing I mean, on slow pitch she last She deserves it. Um, <laughs> she just gave me the... The aghast look over there. No, she hasn't been showing up for slow pitch. Uh, she, when she showed up on Saturday night to hang out with us, she just couldn't have been more bored. Um, <laughs> and she made it known. Wow, a, she, 20, a 22 year old hanging out with yeah, mid 30s. Yeah. And, and, you Dude, know. Yeah. Just yeah, talking about like the government and, and stuff. Yeah. I don't know mm. how she couldn't have enjoyed herself there. <laughs> She's shaking her head. She apparently she had a she had a blast. It's probably a, a her problem. Not yeah, a, not a you guys problem. Right. It's her problem. Um, this this one's we don't usually talk about like internet stuff, especially when it comes to to, to Bieber and oh, stuff like yeah, that. But uh, that, Justin man. Bieber oh. went, went on went on uh, the internet. Which, did. which we all do. <laughs> which you all find yourselves doing. And and he what said happened he, next? He said he wanted to fight Tom Cruise. Oh, said he wants to fight Tom Cruise. Ah, uh, okay. Um, so I just thought that was funny. You actually brought it up, so I don't know why I you're brought asking. that up. You did, yeah. Well, this is this is surprising. <laughs> this uh, is news to me. But he said he wanted to fight Tom Cruise, and uh, I mean, what we, what I want to talk about is what do you think his chances are? Um, I did think that Tom actually Cruise happen, will... or did I just mention it in passing? No, he did. That actually he said he happened. wants to okay. he wants to fight Tom Cruise. Okay, uh, he would get ripped limb from limb. Tom Cruise so? would absolutely destroy him, if not with just pure physical prowess and dad strength. And being like ridiculously in shape and all that good stuff, just using his Scientology mind ray would destroy Justin Bieber, I imagine. Well, and he does 
famously perform his own stunts. Yes. So just taking jobs out of the hands of other people. So it, I mean, he he could just presumably challenge him to a fight, enrage Justin Bieber in some way. You know, throw a couple chirps his way. Yeah. Get him like really worked up, uh-huh. and then just like run away. Justin will chase him. He'll make his way to the top of a building. Yeah. Jump to the other building top, <laughs> and and Justin can't do that. He can't. Do he can't that. compete with that. Tom Cruise is he's a he's a Superman. That comes with experience. That's right. And then that's the end of Justin Bieber. That's right. Without Tom Cruise even throwing a punch. Mm-hmm. What Tom a Cruise deadly is, individual. He's also an alien. So that, well, I mean, that's yeah. part of it. So like I don't know, Justin. I I feel like you're out of your element on this one. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, Justy B. But hey, something to look forward to. Yeah, that would be fun to watch. Yeah. It would be fun to watch those two duke it out. We need celebrity death matches. Back. Yeah, we really do. But real ones. Really, yeah. Like not Plato anymore. Not Claymation. No. Actual celebrity death matches. Just celebrity back alley brawls. That's right. That'd yeah, be fun. That would be fun. Yeah. Let's start that. Okay. <laughs> Yellowknife celebrity death match. Speaking of celebrities. Lauren McGinnis versus... <laughs> Ollie Williams versus Ollie Williams. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, Lauren's wow. mom would listen to that. Ollie, do not take that fight. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, we cannot take Lauren's that got, risk. Lauren's got dad strength. <laughs> that and, too. Yeah. That's right. And you can fight in denim a Absolutely. lot. Like, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Not that we don't have confidence in Ollie or anything. I mean, yeah. In a fighting situation, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Well, you let us know. Who would win in a fight, Lauren McGinnis or Ollie Williams? <laughs> Call the rant line, 866-765-0100. Think or send a morning, us a message. Think that a morning's at the cabin poll. Tell you what. Who would win in a fight? <laughs> anyone who sends us a response gets a free sticker. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie Williams or Lauren McGinnis. Let's set this up. Oh, oh God. Oh, uh, oh, Ollie's coming to the... Uh, this is oh. a surprise. This is very surprising. We were not expecting this. Ollie Williams has sat down at the microphone, and he's he's looking at Chirp. Look at that look in his face. It's not a fair fight. Uh, oh, it's not a fair fight? How so? He's going to kill me with kindness. Oh, that's true. That's true. He's yeah. physically incapable of saying anything <laughs> bad about anybody. How unless, can you, how unless can he's you doing punch stand-up. that? Unless he's doing stand-up, and then he just no, rips into even him. then, even, even then, then, he couldn't do it. <laughs> that's yeah, the whole it was, thing. He did a 15-minute roast in which he still was incapable of saying anything remotely bad. I'm so happy I, his mom's listening to this. I, I honestly, like, I, I don't think I could even begin to think about causing any damage. To that individual. He's okay. just too nice. He's just too nice. All right. So that celebrity well, just, death match well, ended really, in a... Uh, well, maybe it doesn't have to be draw. a physical death match. Maybe they just, like, like roast each other back and forth until one of them just kind of s- slinks off into the night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind your odds in that one. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. You're uh, very cutting. Oh, if it was about to be acerbic, I might have... Yeah, as in most walks of my life, yeah, if I'm required to just use words, I might have half a chance. A word if any physical activity <laughs> is required. Writing about sports for 10 years, talking about sports, brilliant. Right. Doing the sports, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Ollie Williams thinks he can take Laura McGinnis in a physical fight. And speaking of that, you you have yet to make your slow pitch debut for That's the right. season. Oh, I knew yeah. it was a bad idea coming yeah. in here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, off to Anuvik for a week, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's off to Anuvik for a week for some sort of development something or other. Sounds like fun. Speaking of uh, celebrities, though. Yeah. Um, we have a little promotion going on at Cabin Radio that started last week. That's right. A new contest mm-hmm. called Scenes from the Cabin. Yes. And I bring it up because... You still have an opportunity to win on Friday. That's scene. right. So we play the scene every morning around ten forty-five. Yes, uh, and you basically just have to listen to Cabin Radio. Mm-hmm. And when you hear the scene, you send us a message: mailbox at cabinradio.ca, Facebook message to the Cabin Radio Facebook page. Let us know what movie that is, and you can win a twenty-dollar gift card from one of our wonderful sponsors. Friday sponsor was Javaroma. So you can win, if you know what this one is, I'm going to play it again. Okay. So you have a chance to win Friday's gift certificate, and then at 1045 this morning, we will play Monday's chance to win gift certificate, which is sponsored by the Woodyard. I would just like to point out, too, Ah. that in this upcoming scene, I kind of acted circles around you. You did. You did. I I got to say. Well, because I mean, I was like, I wanted to be that character. You're like, no, I am. I'm like, oh. I made you almost laugh at one point. You did. That's funny. (laughs) (laughs) And it's sort of a point when you're supposed to be angry at my character, Ah! which makes it even better. I'm not a good actor. Um, (laughs) We're going to play Friday's scene, and then later on, Scott will play Monday's scene. But uh, take a listen to this and uh, send us a message or give us a call at 867-675-0100, and you can win a $20 gift certificate to Javaroma. Here's the scene from Friday. 
Give me a beer, pal. And put that on my tab. You know, you were the talk of the tournament, Gilmore. Wow. Thanks a lot. You sure crushed that ball off the tee. I'll tell you what. You do well in a long drive contest. You'd make good money traveling, hustling at driving ranges. You know, I know what you're doing right now, and I don't like it. So just shut your trap before I put my foot in it. Don't you turn your back on me. <laughs> Listen, this is Shooter's Tour. I worked hard, paid my dues. Now it's Shooter's turn. Shooter won't let his reign at the top be spoiled by some freak. Did you just call me a freak? Mm -hmm. I was on this tour for one reason. <laughs> money. Now I got a new one. Kicking your ass. Uh, well, I'd like to see you try. Let's do it. Man, all the great golf glass course. break. What's yeah. going on here? I, I, I was just looking for the other half of this bottle. Oh, there's some of it there and uh, some of it right over there. Why don't you put it down? Yeah, I know. <laughs> just stay out of my way or you'll pay. Listen to what I say. Why don't I just go eat some hay? I can make things out of clay or lay by the bay. I just may. What do you say? I, I, acting circles around me. That's 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 bold. Acting ovals. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oblong circles. Yeah, 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 like short triangles, maybe. Okay. Yeah, Cut, yeah. Cutting a few. Cutting yeah. a few corners. All right. Yeah, that was pretty good, though. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.